You want to see the rocks on the sea moss. Let's start here. Here you can clearly see a rock. This is the Irish sea moss, right? Here we go. Now, this is clearly a rock. This is the hold fast. This is what I keep telling people that the sea moss uses to anchor itself to things. Now, if you look up a hold fast, as I always say, you will see that it is not a typical root system like regular plants. It does not get its nutrients through this. So it's not getting its nutrients from rocks. The sea moss gets its nutrients from the water. Now, what I always also tell you, the sea moss can attach itself to many different things. Let me show you this. This is a snail shell. You see the different, you see the whole fast looks a little bit different on this, but this is how it anchors itself, right? You see that. Now, I'm pretty sure the sea moss isn't pulling nutrients from this snail shell. Now, this is the other thing. Why would you want this in your bag? Why would you want this? Why would you want this rock in your bag, right? This is just debris that you're going to have to go through more, pick off and clean out. Now you also got to consider when you buy sea moss, you're buying it by volume, it's by weight. So if all this extra stuff in there is making the bag of sea moss heavy, you're getting less sea moss, you're paying for this debris. But some people, because they think it's supposed to have the rocks, it'll just make them feel good because, oh, it's, it means that it's real. That's crazy. Now let me show you another hole fast. This is a hole fast. You can see a little bit of the rock in there, but look, this is people would typically think this is a rock. It's not. It's the whole fast. This is when it when they yanked it off of the rock. This is what's left. Now, again, why would you want this in your sea moss when you have to go through the sea moss and pick all this stuff off? This is more time consuming. You might miss some of this stuff. And the thing is, if you get good quality sea moss, this stuff is going to be removed before it gets to you. So when we see any of this stuff, we make sure we remove as much of this as we can. Because again, why do you want this? This makes more work for you. Now, of course, some of this stuff is going to slip through. So sometimes you're going to see rocks. You're going to see these different shells. Sometimes you might see crabs and, and different sea life in there, but you can't get rid of everything. But you, you're going to see some of this stuff. But why would you want all of this stuff in there? Right. It's funny because sometimes people will see different sea life, crustaceans and, and, and crabs and stuff like, oh, there's bugs in my sea moss. Whoa. <laughs> you want to know that it's real, right? It's coming from the ocean. What do you expect? You can't make everybody happy. Now, the reason why this particular sea moss, you typically don't see the rocks in it. This is the Yucca and this is the Crondus Crispus, by the, the Crondus Crispus, by the way, Irish sea moss. The Yucca you typically don't see rocks because during the, the cleaning process, when they're drying it out, they get rid of a lot of the salt. That's why you don't typically see the salt and, and they get rid of those rocks and stuff. They take the time to clean it. Now, some places you might get it from, they don't take the time to clean it the same way. Some people actually ask that the rocks get left on there, but... You know, that's that's the, that particular person's choice. But again, why would you want that? Why would you want to do the extra cleaning and have your bag p potentially be significantly heavier and you're getting less sea moss? Now, because the sea moss doesn't get nutrients from rocks, it continues to grow when it's separated from the rocks because it's getting its nutrients from the water. So this is why they take the sea moss off of those rocks so that they can expand their crops and they tie it to the ropes. It continues to grow. When people say talk about the rope sea moss, it just doesn't make no sense. This this particular sea moss, the Irish sea moss, the Crondus crispus, you don't typically see this kind tied to ropes because look how this is. Look how this is all. This is how this is bunched together. It, it's really you really can't do it because of the way it's made up. With this, this comes in a lot bigger strands, and you can tie. You can get big chunks of this and tie it. This is more loose and, and smaller. So this kind doesn't work the same way. That's just why you might see a difference. Again, when people are not doing the proper research, they're not understanding these things. And the average person that you're getting your information from online has done zero research. And even though they may sell CMOS, they don't actually research. They don't actually deal with CMOS. So a lot of things that they're not going to be able to tell you because they just have been going and listening to everybody else and repeating the same information. And then when somebody like myself comes along who has done the research, who goes out of their way to inform people, people don't want to hear it. <laughs> they just don't want to believe anything new. But the facts is the facts and the proof is the proof. So this is why I always tell people, you do not have to believe me. Go do the research. I tell you, look up red algae. Look up the biology of red algae. Look up what a hold fast is. Look up how sea moss particularly red algae gets its nutrients, how it reproduces all of these different things. So sometimes people will tell you, you'll see, I'm not even going to get into that. If you want high quality sea moss, grab it in the TikTok shop. You know where to go, people. Salute.